Hello, everybody, and welcome to another session of Mr. Bob's Bricks for Kids Workshop. Today, we're going to be talking about pirates and pirate ships. You see, I've got my pirate bandana on, and my little Mr. Bob on my name tag has his little pirate bandana on. So we're going to be talking about pirate ships today, and we're going to have a pirate adventure. All right, so first off, the first thing you need to do, let me adjust my camera here a little bit. First thing you need to do is make sure you have your kits all ready. Make sure you know where all your pieces are by examining the lid liner. You should always make sure you put your, all your pieces back into their correct location so you can find them for the next time you build a model. So they're all right there. Also, colors don't matter, as a reminder, unless they are specified in the instructions, such as the tech and axle pins, which are black, gray, blue, or tan. And we'll see those as we need them. So talking about pirates, I'm sure all everyone here has heard of pirates or watched a pirate movie or two. You may have heard the names of Blackbeard the Pirate, Jack Sparrow, or Captain Hook. Piracy, the things that they did was called piracy, and they were called pirates because they did it. Piracy is the attacking and robbing of ships at sea. I'm sure it began about the time that people started carrying goods on ships and other people wanted to steal their goods. So they started taking them off their ships. The big golden age of piracy, where we hear about Blackbeard and Jack Sparrow and them, was in the Caribbean islands off of Florida and the south of the United States. And it lasted about 100 years, from 1623 to 1718. So just about 100 years. Pirates would capture ships traveling the Atlantic Ocean from America to Europe and flew flags with these giant crossbones on them to be scary to other ships. So today, we're gonna to build a model of a pirate ship. Their ships had three sails. Our ship's gonna have, our model's gonna have three sails. The outside of the ship was called the hull. The bottom of the ship was called the keel. The front of the ship is the bow. The back of the ship is the stern. The right side of the ship, this side here, the, my right side is the starboard and the left side is called the port. These ships were very big, so they had several stories or decks, and the top deck is called the main deck, and that's where the captain of the ship would stay and tell, the, tell them where to go and tell the helmsman which way to turn the ship. If you're interested in being an archeologist, this model might be helpful to you in studying how pirate ships looked, and there are archeologists that work underwater to recover ships that sank and are in the bottom, in the sand, in the dirt, in the ocean. So you could be that kind of archeologist, an underwater archeologist. Or if you like engineering and wanna study about how ships are made, this would be helpful to you. Also, the gears that we put together to make the ship move like it's on the ocean in our model, that'd be very helpful for you as an engineer to watch how these gears and motors work together. All right, well, let me show you what the model is gonna look like when we're finished. I've already built one here. And you can see this is my model of the pirate ship. And when I turn the motor on, it goes in a direction and it stopped for a second there. We'll get it right back together here. If your models don't work right off, you can always make a small adjustment to them and get them to work. So here we go, see it working and it's going up and down like it's on the ocean. You can see the three masts, three sails, let me stop it so you can see them better. You can see the three sails here. And here's the wheel or the helm where the helms would stand. And these are the different decks. So we're going to build our own version of this in just a minute here. So make sure you have all your parts out and everything's together. And I'm going to switch over to our plans for the ship. And let's see. Hang on. I'm going to get them here in just a second. There it is. And let me pull it up for you so you can see it. And here we go. So here's our pirate ship. That's a drawing of the actual model when we're finished. We're going to go through it step by step, and I'm going to explain to you how to do each step. So coming to step number one, we're going to take out our battery pack. And you can see the battery pack. You're going to take that out. And you need to take out two of these things that are called lift arm bent four pin. Let me make that a little bit bigger for you to see. And this is an L-shaped piece. It's a lift arm, so it's a lift going up, and it's got four pins on it. 
So lift arm bent, so it's a bent arm, and it's got four pins, just like you bend your arm at your elbow. All right, so you're gonna take two of those out of your box, along with your battery box, and you're gonna put them, so lay the battery down on the table with the switch facing away from you. And these two lift arm four pins are gonna go in the holes on either side of the battery box. And they're gonna be facing, those other pins will be facing towards you. So here's the battery box, the switch is on that side. This is the switch with the side without the switch. And you see the lift arm four pins are in there. These two are in the holes and these two pins are facing towards you like that. Okay, everybody's got that. Let's go on to the next step here. The next step, you're gonna need a couple of different parts. So I'll give you a minute to collect them up. You're gonna need a black tech pin friction. That's the black pin. You're gonna need two of the tan axle pin non-friction and those have a, if you notice on the black one here, you've got a pin on this side and a pin on that side. Those are called pins, just like on your lift arm four pins, those are pins. So these are called pins on either side. This one has an axle on one side and a pin on the other side and it's tan. Some of them may be gray in your kit, but it's gonna have to have this pin on one side and the axle on the other side. You need two of those. You're gonna need two tech bricks. Now a brick is tall, so it looks like a brick. It's almost square this way. And this one is a one by 12 because it's got 12 pins on the top or tabs or studs. There's 12 of them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And it's got one row of them. So it's a one by 12, one row of 12. You need two of those. And those are the biggest of the tech bricks that are in your kit. So that's a good way to locate them. You need one of these axles, and this is called an axle number three. A lot of times they're gray, they may not be, they are, may also be black, like I said, color doesn't matter, but this is an axle, it's got four little sides to it. Um, it is a number three, it is the second to the smallest of your axle. You have four different size axles, and this is the second to the smallest. So you need one of those. All right, give you another second here to get those all out. And then we're gonna put them onto our battery box, our model here. So the first thing we wanna do is put our two one by 12s, stack them one on top of the other. So do that first, just put one on top of the other and push them together and they're nice and even, they're flush on either side. That means they line up on either side, nothing hangs over. So you put those together first. They're gonna take our two tan axle pins, and one of them is going to go with the pin side into the third hole from the left. The other one is gonna go into the third hole from the right. So see here, I put it in with the pin side going in from the front, it's facing me, and they go one, two, three, and one, two, three. Then you're gonna take your black pin and it's gonna go one hole away from the tan pin from the back side. So you come in from the back side here and put in, the, you've got one hole between them. Take your last piece and this is that little second to the smallest axle. And that's just gonna sit in that hole there right next to the black pin. It, it, nothing's gonna hold it in place. You gotta be careful you don't turn it over. Now the whole thing then is going to go on the top row of pins on those lift arm bent four pins that you have on your battery box and you're gonna mount it to the battery box. So let me go ahead and show you mine here real quick. Okay, doesn't want to go, oh, let's do it this way. Okay, so now you can see mine looks like that. You can see from this side, which I'm calling the front side, I have my two axle pins in there. And if you come around to the back side, you see that I have the black tech pin in here. And I have that little axle just sitting in there loose in that hole. So there's, these are two from one end, these are two from the other end. This is one from that one, and this one is the next one over. And there should be two spaces here as well. 
Okay, let's get back to our model plan. And you see we've got that part done. Okay, step number three, you're gonna need your motor now. So you take your motor out and make sure, let me come back to this for just a second here. Make sure when you're using your motors, you hold them by the motor. Don't hold it by the wire. Don't swing it by the wire and all that because these wires are very fragile right there. And you've got some nice brand new motors and if you mess with them too much, you're gonna break those wires, then they won't work anymore. So you gotta be real careful with them. Always hold them by the motor and you never turn them on until you're ready to use your model. Okay, let's get back to the plans. So you're gonna take your motor and you need one of the very smallest gears. There's about five different gears in your kit. These are a lot of gears, but you need this very smallest one. It's called an eight tooth gear. So we'll go ahead and get those out. And let's see what we're gonna do next here. So next we're going to mount the motor to the, from the back side of our model. So we've got those two one by 12s sitting there stacked together. The motor is going to go with the flat side set facing down and it goes into that black pin and then the axle goes into the motor. So there's the black pin, there's the motor. There are four holes on the motor. You're going to put it on the one that is going to be on the side of the motor. You're going to put that black pin through there. You're going to put the axle into the motor and you're going to put that little gear on the other end of that axle, of that second to the smallest axle. You put that on there like that. So now your motor is supported. It should have the flat side down and you, sh and you should have that held in place by the black pin and the axle going through. Now the axle is being held in place. Remember I told you we'd get to that. So there we got to that. All right, next step. You're gonna need two of those giant big gears that are in your box. They're called 40 tooth gears. You need two of those out of your box. So go ahead and get them out of your box. And look at them here, they have a shape like this, like a square in the middle. They have four holes running this way, four holes running that way, four holes going this way, and four holes going that way. So this is pretty much straight up and down, and this is straight left and right. And then you've got this center piece right here. You've got several different places that have that little plus sign to connect to the axle, but we want to use the one smack dab in the middle. So let's look at how we're going to put those on there. Ah, so those are going to go onto our tan pins and you're gonna line them up so that they line up with the actual part of that tan pin. And what you'd like to do is put them in so that these lines are going up and down and these lines are going side to side. So they are horizontal and vertical to the model for right now. And I'll show you why in just a minute, but see how these are horizontal and these are vertical. I'm gonna put them in there like that. And you can move them around a little bit to get them exactly right. They don't have to be exactly, exactly to the centimeter right, but they do have to be very close. So let me show you mine just to see how they look. So let me go back to mine here and you see how those gears are on there. And if you did them just right, and you've got the lines going this way, and this way and this way and you've got them connected they should be connected to that little gear in the middle if they're not connected you may not have your tan pins in the right location but if everything's in the right location they should line right up and join with that gear and that's called meshing when the gears meet like that that's called meshing those gears mesh together m-e-s-h mesh so let's go back to our drawing and you can see how that picture looks and yours should look like that. Okay, next step. Next step, you're gonna need two of these little tech pin non-friction. They look a lot like the black ones in which they have a pin on either side. Here's a pin here, here's a pin here, but they're gray instead of black. And these are non-friction. Non-friction means they move. Friction means they don't move very much. So non-friction means they can move, so they can turn. So we want them to be non-friction. And what you're going to do with them in the next diagram here is you're going to put them onto those 
big gears at the, if you lined them up, it's going to be at the top left hand hole on the gear and the top left hand hole on the gear. They should look identical, just like these do here. See how that's on the, so here's the rows going vertically. There's the rows going horizontally. They're on the top left and they're on this one, same thing on the top left. That's important that they line up exactly right because on the next step, and let's minimize this so we can scroll down. The next step, you're gonna need another one of your one by 12 tech bricks. That's the one with the one row of 12 tabs. And that's gonna go onto those two non-friction tech pins. And if you lined them up just right, no matter where they are in the wheel, if they're on the same location on each wheel, you should be able to put one tech pin, two holes from the right side, and one tech pin, two holes from the left side. And they should line up just like this. So your tech pin is there, your great tech pins. These are your, your big gears. You've got one, two, three from the left, and one, two, three from the right. And they should line up just perfectly like that. If they don't, you may have to move your tech pins around or move your gears around, but you want them to come out like that because that's going to create the motion that we need for our boat, our ship. Okay, next step. You need two of the two by eight tech plates. Now, a tech plate's different than a tech brick because a tech plate is flat. Tech plates are flat, like this is flat. Think about a plate you eat off your dinner off of. It's flat like a plate. And it's got two rows of eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it's got two rows eight. It also has some holes down the middle, but we don't use those right now, but we may use them on another build. You need two of those and one more of your one by 12 tech brick. And what you're gonna do with these is, these are gonna go, you're gonna stack them together first. So stack the two tech plates, the two by eight tech plates together. Then put them onto your two by 12 or one by 12. And you put it one tab from the end. So see, this is, you've got two of these. You can put these side by side. You're gonna put the tech bricks on top. I find it easier to put the tech plates on top of the one tech brick, then put it on the other one, but you may want to do it differently. But you have to have those two one by 12s lined up perfectly. You go three tabs from the end, put in the two two by eights, and they're going to be one tab from this end. And get that together so it looks like that. Let me take a minute here to show you again on mine. So there they are, and those two here are the two two by eights, and here are the two one by twelves. This one is the original one I started with. This is the other one, and you can see how that's these two by eights are holding them together pretty well. And there's one set of tabs exposed on this side, and three sets of tabs exposed on that side. All right, let's get back to our diagram. We got to that. Step number eight, you need two one by eight tech bricks. Those are a little bit bigger than the one by six and smaller than the one by 12. They're one by eight. There's one row of eight. And you can see it here again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now these you gotta be real careful with because you are gonna put them up underneath the bottom of your two one by twelves and they're going to have to be two holes to this side and two holes to this side and you'll see what i mean when you get them up underneath there but be real careful you got to pick your model up and actually turn the whole thing over to do this if you if it comes apart don't worry just put it back together it's just that easy anytime these models come apart or something doesn't work exactly right just fix it no 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 point in getting all stressed don't get all upset and everything else it's not worth it. They are made to go back together if you make a mistake. So these two are going to go up underneath there. and They're going to form, basically, that's the keel of the boat. Remember we talked about the bottom of the boat is the keel? That's the keel. That's the bottom of the boat, the keel. Okay. Let's move along. Now we need two of the one by six tech bricks. And those are just a little bit smaller than the one by eight. 
It's a brick where when I say it's a brick, it's taller. It's not like the plate. And we're gonna get our mouse over there so I can point it out to you. There we go. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, and they're one by six. They're gonna go on this right in front of that, those two by eights we put there where the one brick, you know, the one tab is left by itself. And you gotta be careful with that because with one tab holding it on, it's very fragile, but we want it to stick out to the, and this is the front of the boat. So this is where we're building the bow. So this is the bow here. This is where we talked about, I said the front of the boat is called the bow. That's the bow of the boat. Get those on there. Need two more of your one by eights. So get two more out. And those are gonna go behind those two by eight plates we put on there on the spot where you have the three tabs exposed. Those are gonna go on there. And that's gonna be the stern of our boat. That's the stern of the boat. You're gonna put them on the back here. So the two by one by sixes, two one by sixes are on the on the bow and two one by eights are on the stern. And let me show you mine like that too. And you can see here, I've got the one by sixes, two of them right there. And I've got the one by eights, two of them right there on the stern and the bow. Okay. So we've got that step done. Step 11, you need two of these now these are plates that are called one by fours. They're flat and they have only four tabs on the top and only one row of them. So they're a one by four. And you need two more of your two by eight tech plates. First you're gonna do is take our two two by eight tech plates and stack them together just like they are in the picture here. And those are gonna go on the stern of our boat, our ship, one tab off of one by eights that we have down there already. So it's gonna expose one tab and it's gonna go on there. And it's gonna hang over just a little bit out the back or out the stern. So it hangs over here a little bit and you can see it's there, there's the one tab exposed. You're gonna take your one by four tech plates and put them on the, on the bow of the boat, on the first two tabs. And be real careful with that because that's where you can knock your one by sixes off if you're not careful with that. And if you get them loose a little bit, just go ahead and give them a squeeze and get them back in place. And that's gonna be the, the very bow of the boat, of the ship. We're getting close to the end here. You're gonna need three of your, it's called a brick two by two round because it has two rows of two, two by two, and it's round. So it's a brick two by two round or round brick two by two. And those are going to go, so one of them is going to go right behind those one by one by fours that you put on the, on the bow. One of them is going to go in the middle of the two by eight, in the middle, of the, right in the middle of the ship, and it's going to have three tabs on the front and three tabs behind it. And the third one is going to go on the two by eight on the stern, and it's going to go right in the middle with three tabs in front and three tabs behind. So let me show you that here. So this one is gonna go right behind the one by fours on the tabs. This one's gonna go in the middle of the two by eight with three tabs in the front and three tabs in the back. And this one's gonna go on the two by eights on the stern with three tabs in the front and three tabs in the back. And that's probably gonna, that's gonna be where we're gonna be building, putting in our sails. So now we need some more axles. You need two of the biggest axles. They're called a one by 12 or number 12. They are the same length as a one by 12 is what I wanted to say. So you need two of the biggest axles and one of the next size down, which is a axle number six. Your number 12 axle is the same length as a one by 12 and your number six axle is the same length as a one by six. In case you ever wanna check that out. And the shortest one, the number six, is gonna go in the front round brick on the, on the bow. The second, uh, the first of the long ones is gonna go in the middle. 
and the last one is going to go on the one on the stern. So you have those three, and those are going to be what your those are your masts, right? We need three things called cam wheels. Cam wheels are kind of like a wheel, but they have a point at one end. They're kind of like if somebody took a wheel and pinched the end of it here, so it's got a little point at the end. You see it has three connection spots for an axle to go through, those little plus-shaped things. We're going to use this one that's right here in the middle. We're going to use that one. Okay, the one right in the middle there, because that's the one we want to use. I don't want to use the one in the point. We don't want to use the one at the bottom. We want to use the one that's right there in the middle. And you're going to take that and use that piece with the points facing to the stern or the back of the boat. And you're going to put that on there in that hole that I showed you. That's kind of like the middle. All right, we're going to do that. Or you can say it's one away from the pointed one. However you want to refer to it in your own mind is fine, because we all know we have our own way of doing things and saying things. I'm going to put those on there. And then you're going to go ahead and get three of these things called tech connectors. And your tech connectors kind of look like a little thing to put a teeth in. It's got a one piece here that doesn't go through. That's the longer piece. Got these two shorter holes here that go right through. So this is the shorter side, this is the longer side. All right, the shorter side goes all the way through, the hole goes all the way through it, the longer side it doesn't go all the way through. That's important because we're gonna put them on our masts with the longer side going down onto the mast and the two shorter sides going from side to side, from port to starboard, or from right to left. I'm gonna put those three on there. Let me give you another shot here of mine. And you can see there I've got the, got the um, cam wheels here facing to the stern, facing to the stern, point facing to the stern. I have those tech connectors on the top and they're facing with the holes facing from right to left or port to starboard. All right, now we're gonna just clean, pull these up a little bit. All right, let's get back to our plan. All righty, we got that far. Step 16, we need one of the second to the smallest axles like we used before. We need one of the number six axles, and we need one of the number 12 axles. So we need one of each. Okay, we need a number three, which is the second to the smallest, the number six, which is the second to the biggest, and the number 12, which is the biggest or longest one. And they're gonna go into our pieces. So in, this, in the bow, we put our shortest axle, the little gray one or black one, whatever color yours might be, and we push it through so it's sort of ha hanging out halfway on either side. On the middle mat, we put our biggest one, our longest one, we put that through so it's hanging out kind of middle, hanging out both sides. And on the stern, we put the second to the biggest one. So they're in there and they're making a T shape. And that would be where our sails would hang if we had sails on this boat. All right, we're getting close to the end here. We need two tech bricks. So it's a brick again, so it's tall. It's not flat like a plate. It's a one by two. So it's got one row of two tabs. And it has a neat thing called an axle hole. If you see that right there, that's an axle hole. That's to fit an axle in. The other ones that are in that box have a circle. We don't want the ones with the circle. We want the ones with the axle hole. And we need one of the number two axles, which is the smallest axle. Sometimes they're red, sometimes they're black. And those are gonna go, you're gonna stack your two one by two tech bricks on top of each other. And you're gonna put that little tiny axle in the top axle hole of that tech brick. Then you're gonna put the whole thing on your boat, on the deck of the boat, right behind the middle sail. So that's gonna go right here, right behind the middle sail. All right, last piece. This is a number one gear 12 tooth bevel. It's not the smallest gear in the box, 
It's not as small as the other gear we used. It's a little bit bigger than that. It's got a flat side and a rounded side. That's why it's called a tooth bevel, 12 tooth bevel. It's got a flat side here and a rounded side with gears on it on the other side there. And it's not the biggest gear. We use both of those. It's not the two different sizes that are a little bit smaller than the biggest gear. And it's not the smallest gear. It's just a little bit bigger than the smallest gear. We're going to take that and we're going to pretend that's like our wheel on the helm. What we built there is the helm of the boat. And that's the wheel that goes on the helm. And you put that wheel on there like that. So let's see if we got everything right. Let's go back to Mr. Bob Live. And I'm going to take my wire from my battery and I'm going to attach it on I mean, a wire from my motor and attach it to my battery. And we always say there's an alien face on the battery and there's an alien face on the attachment. And we're going to go alien face to alien face and put them on there. Give it a good tight squeeze to make sure it's on all the way. And if everything worked out right, you should be able to turn on your boat, your ship, and it should go. I mean, look at that. It's going and it's going. Look at that. And it's going up and down. And let me tell you, if you've got a minfig, you want to take and put a minfig. I've got this, this swarthy looking pirate captain minfig. And I'm going to put him on my pirate ship so I can let him sail the ship. I can put him right behind the wheel here. So he's the captain, but he's sailing the ship. And can't get him on there just right. He doesn't want to go. Mr. Bob's captain is giving him a hard time today. But there we go. So I got my little minfig guy, and you can get one if you have one and pretend that he's sailing the pirate ship. And you see him a little pirate guy there. So that's how you make your pirate ship. And mateys, that was a fun trip we did making that. So now that you finished your model, you see how a helm, or a helm on a pirate ship may have looked and the pirate ship itself with the helm, and we showed you the bow and the stern, right? We talked about the right-hand side is the starboard, the left-hand side is the port, this is the keel, this is the hull, the outside of the pirate ship, this is the helm where they steer, and we had another build about that. Here's your mast for your sails, and we've got these neat little gears in here and how they turn. You can sit and look at that and watch how those different gears turn to make the boat look like it's going on the water. And you can play with that for a while and look at it and show it to your parents and get your parents to take a picture and post it on social media, either at hashtag B4K Master Builder or at bricks4kidsatlanta.com. So when you're finished, Make sure you take your model apart. We don't break our pieces apart. We take our models apart. We're going to put all your disassembled pieces back in their correct location in your kit, following the directions on the lid liner. So see, I'm going to take, start taking mine apart here and taking the pieces out, and making sure I put them back in the box. So anyway, thank you all very much today. Have a great day. Bye now and happy building.